I found out about my GF affair with her boss and I'm struggling to cope. Long post. We were a four-year-old couple in our early 30s, living together without having children. Because she was having difficulties dealing with her feelings and speaking about them, I encouraged her to seek counseling. However, she refused because she was too afraid to do so. The last time we kissed was back in July, and she was just absent. From that point on, her demeanor shifted, and she became aloof and irritated with others. Two weeks later, after work, we went on a night out with some friends, and she took her boss with her. This is the first time I've met the guy, and he's informed me that I appear pleasant. However, we're playing on two teams because he has a thing for my girlfriend, who is not his. When I told my girlfriend about this, she seemed astonished and assured me that nothing was wrong. She grew much more aloof and unpleasant as time went on. I attempted to communicate with her, but she became enraged and began to gaslight me, alleging that I was hallucinating things. I made the decision to put up more effort and take her out more frequently, but her attention was constantly elsewhere. Then on our vacation, she informed me that she had not felt anything the previous time we kissed, that she had no desire for me, but that this does not imply that she wishes to end the relationship. We came to the conclusion that we would continue the conversation after the vacation. When we returned home, I realized that she had become addicted to her phone, engaging in more activities that did not include me. I was still in denial about everything. She texted me one Friday to tell me she was going out for a beer with her boss. When questioned, she just responded with, Do you want me to approach the subject of permission? It was only a drink after all. She ended her relationship with me two days later. I expressed my belief that couples counseling, as well as individual treatment, would be beneficial for us in resolving our differences. She began to have second thoughts about the split and stated that she would seek counseling. When I inquired as to whether she had met anybody, she acknowledged that she had been messaging with her boss a lot. He was flirting with her, which enhanced her self-esteem. He also encouraged her to accompany him on a vacation to Croatia in October, which she accepted. She had no intention of going. I was enraged, but I had faith in her. The next day, after my emotions had cooled, I realized that the tale didn't fit up, so I checked her messenger, which revealed that it had been a full-blown affair. She told her two closest pals everything that had happened. For one month, they kissed each other a few times and went on multiple dates with one other. They came to an agreement that he would follow her lead and that she would define the boundaries. She was aware that it may be a one-night stand, but she was interested in seeing where it would go. She was the one who set up the dates and kisses. She told her pals that it would be a shame if they didn't have sex since it would be embarrassing. Honestly, she was actually contemplating accompanying him on that trip. They were having sexual relations in his automobile outside our apartment building and at work. I finally got a romance at work tale, she exclaimed to her pals, expressing how thrilling it is to finally have such a story. My perception of her was destroyed since, during these chats, she acted like a teenager who had just discovered her first crush in her life. They had a date scheduled for the day my aunt passed away, and she complained to her friend that she had to cancel as a result of it. I even assisted her in purchasing a present for him while on our vacation, which was intended for her buddy, and it stung like hell. And, yeah, her buddies were a source of displeasure for me. They encouraged her, saying things. Like, I envy you the butterflies in your stomach. Take what you can from this, and don't tell your partner. They also gave her advice. One of them even volunteered to cover for her so that she could accompany him on his trip to Croatia. They never emphasized that what she was doing was wrong and that she may lose her job as a result. I also witnessed her writing to her friends, saying that her decision to stop her relationship with me was definitely a mistake and that we would most likely get back together soon, but that she needed treatment to sort things out. She also scheduled a meeting with her supervisor for four days after we ended our relationship. I'd never been cheated on before, and I assumed that physical abuse would be the most painful, but wow, was I wrong. It was the deception and manipulation, as well as how simple it was for her. What she did and said was cruel, and she knew it. I wanted to think she was lost, and her desire to go to therapy appeared to be sincere. But so much of what I read looked to be a ploy to get me to believe otherwise. She came to me in tears on the evening of D-Day and asked if we could chat because she felt that the split was a major mistake. As I previously stated, we may chat in two days. I wanted some space to collect my thoughts and make an appointment with my therapist first. I also wanted to make sure that everything was out of her place before she left. Despite everything, I still had feelings for her, 
and hoped she would want to change and fight for us. Deep down, I realized there was no turning back from some of this nonsense. It would be ingrained in my memory for the rest of my life. I didn't believe she was really nasty at first, but now I've uncovered a side of her that I despise. I was curious as to why, and I hoped that once the truth was revealed, she would tell me the complete story because it would most likely be the last time we would ever talk. When we eventually met, she said that she was unsure of her feelings and what she wanted in a relationship, that she requires further time to work it out with a therapist. I informed her outright that I had read all of her texts. The only reason she didn't tell me was because she didn't want to hurt my feelings or make me feel ashamed, which was a rationalization that just made me more enraged than before. She was supposed to confess once we got back together, but she didn't. I, of course, explained that she did it, it since she knew I wouldn't want to fix anything afterwards. She became defensive when asked about specifics, and she attempted to make the situation more bearable. She claimed that she had a strong sense of want and that something was finally happening, but that was ultimately not worth it. She said that some of the things she wrote weren't truly meant by her. She didn't want to spend time with him or go on that trip, and she wasn't even sure whether she liked him at the time of the conversation. I inquired as to why I should trust her rather than my own eyes and she replied that she had no idea why she had written such obscene material and that she felt ashamed. Her worst mistake in life, she says, and she feels like garbage for having injured me. She also regrets not going to treatment sooner, and she believes I deserve someone better. I was in agreement. She expressed regret. I questioned how she could be so naive as to put her career at danger, and she responded by saying that it was no longer her concern. She informed me that she had scheduled a meeting with him for Friday in order to ask him for a break, so that she could figure out what she wanted. Yes, that's correct. Her expression was filled with remorse. I told her that I was terribly disappointed in her, and that I had no idea who she was anymore. When I asked her, she said that she didn't know either, but that she was determined to find out during her treatment. When I inquired about our situation, she stated that it was most likely unfixable. I concluded by expressing that I don't know whether I'll ever be able to forgive her, and that I hope she gets the answers she seeks via her therapy sessions. After that, I departed. It was the most difficult talk I'd ever had in my life. Ultimately, I did not obtain the answers I desired, and what I did receive was disappointing and disingenuous in its delivery. It bothered me that she didn't tell the truth, even after I challenged her. I'm upset with myself because I had hoped she would want to rectify things, and I'm still catching myself thinking about it, even after a week has passed. This is naive, and I am well aware of it. It's ridiculous that I want to be loved by someone who has caused me so much pain. I'm hoping that these ideas would go away sooner rather than later. I understand that I should concentrate on myself and make improvements in my life, but it's really tough to go on. The fact that the affair is most likely still going on and she is enjoying. Her time with someone else, while the corpse of our relationship is still fresh in my mind and heart, makes me feel enraged and envious of her. Dealing with the loss of one's home, one's relationship, and the sense of betrayal may be quite difficult at times. Edit. Wow, thank you so much for all of your answers, candid thoughts and encouragement. I truly appreciate it. A large number of you urge that I disclose the affair to human resources at her workplace, as well as to all of her friends and family members. I understand the reasons behind it, and I've previously discussed it with my therapist over it. She advised me to examine if taking such a step would genuinely benefit me or if it would only exacerbate my predicament. After much consideration, I've determined that doing so will simply add to the drama and tension. Already there, as well as increasing my attention span on her, which is the last thing I need right now. Getting away from her is the greatest thing I can do right now to heal. I feel better when I don't think about her. I only intend to tell our mutual acquaintances about our breakup when they inquire as to why we are no longer together.